Hey loves, it's Valerie Page here. And so I remember last week is the last uh, time I was going to be referring to myself as Mistress Valerie. So, I guess I'm sort of, even though you know me, I'm sort of reintroducing myself in a sense as just Valerie Page. Because, as I said last week, we were all going to be um, on the same level. Um, as we always have been, but just taking a tie, non-horrific title has always kind of convoluted that principle. So, yep, yeah, I'm your buddy Valerie. Here, um, here to chat with you again this week. A um, couple of quick updates. Um, almost done with Jezebel, so I'm really excited about that. Um, at some point I'm going to try to find the courage to start posting my music on SoundCloud and all that and sharing it with you all, but I get kind of scared with that and I'm really anal about everything I do. <sighs> We're always our worst critics, but yeah, that's um, making a lot of leeway with that and I'm really proud of it. Um, my sex education class is going well. Um, really intense, definitely very intense, but it's good. Uh, I'm going on a date tomorrow. Uh, really nervous, but because you know she's she's really um, she's really really cool. Um, and I always get nervous and all that, so but I'm sure it'll be all right. You know. Um, let's see. Anything else going on? Um, no, I guess I'll just get into what I was gonna do this week. Um, so a couple weeks ago I talked about updates and like, you know, and whatnot, and I wrote my first poem in five years. So I've actually gotten some feedback from people on that who want me to read it. So I think I'd like to go ahead and do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and read that poem. This is my first poem I wrote in five years that's not music lyric related. It's called The Glass Jar. She drops a dollar in the glass jar. Wishing it was more, it's her only small bill. And she watches the server frantically work. Order after order, never given any thanks. Sipping her afternoon coffee, watching the people. Slowly waking up after a long night's work. She does her best to smile at every passerby if only to brighten their dreary day just a bit. A familiar vibration permeates her pocket. Yet another reminder she's always on the clock. Sure enough, 12 unread messages, she reads, on the bright screen so pleasantly cruel. She takes another sip, a momentary respite, from the part of work they never see. All the requests and compromise, she endures, projecting outward, a smile. Her day of work planned out for tonight. Evening arrives and she remembers to eat. Seeing yet another server doing thankless work. And she leaves her token of thanks in another glass jar. Her body fed, time to nourish her soul doing those things that take her far away, to a place where, within where she never has to hide. A small place indeed, but the most precious place of all. Here she clings to the remaining piece of her, the girl she was before she joined this merry-go-round. That last little shred that keeps her existing, so soft and so hopeful, a humble glass jar, for a short amount of time, she wears no costume, doing what she wants, loving who she truly loves. The mundane moments of safely watching her favorite show give her strength for another night of thankless work. Midnight strikes, the costume goes on. Her needy audience awaits her healing grace. They wallow in their loneliness, they wallow in their shame. And they look to her to recreate their dreams. She sees them come from every walk of life. All the roles she's ever played, 
all the faces she's ever worn. They all have their stories, and they all have their needs, all with their precious egos, fragile glass jars. Almost sunrise, another day done, with more passion spent. She counts through her night's bread, another month paid up. With her spirit unsettled and her weary body spent, she drifts into a heavy sleep, the music her only friend. She awakens once more to the midday's light, walks to the usual place for her afternoon wake-up, and smiling at the server, working so frantically with no thanks, she drops another dollar in the glass jar. So yeah, what do you think of that? Uh, it's a really personal poem for me to uh, for me to write. Um, I actually wrote most of that in the woods where I go hiking and do a lot of meditation. Um, and then I go. Then I was at a friend's house, you know, where we were just hanging out and yeah. It was, um, I finished it there, and it was, it's really personal for me. Um, it's something that's been in my head for a very, very long time. So, yeah, it's, um, I actually recorded it for, for Jezebel. Um, it's a, it's a spoken word piece in the middle of a bunch of songs. Uh, just some, like, backing track, some basic backing track that I composed that more or less just loops and comes in stages and the prominent part is just me reading this out so yeah I'm hoping to put that up on SoundCloud soon um, I'll post a link in a future episode when I do that but let me know what you think like comment below um, and also like do, do you have something you want to share like have you written a poem or a song or a video or some kind of accomplishment of, um, you know, be at work or be it working on yourself or, or whatnot. Because it seems like a lot of people are going through some upheavals and challenges and whatnot. Because um, we're kind of in the spring um, Mercury retrograde. There's a bunch of contingencies this year where Mercury upper retrograde, yeah, you have the usual technological problems and emotions and whatnot, but this year... It's like focusing on upheaval and personal growth and whatnot, that laying low, not trying anything new, just fixing what you already have, like working on what you already have. So, um, yeah, it's a good time to start expressing yourself. And a lot of people I know are really working on a lot of personal growth and artistic growth and whatnot. So um, if you've got something you'd like to share, I really, really want to see it. You know, comment below or... If you want to email me privately, tsvaleriepage at gmail.com, you know, because it's, it's precious to me. You're precious to me because, you know, you know what I'm going to say. I see when I love you. So, of course, anything you create and anything you pursue and anything you overcome is going to be so precious to me. And it's going to give me strength to keep doing what I'm doing. So, yeah. I know that's all I really have for you this week. Um, thanks for listening. Um, yeah, we'll pick up next week. I'll see you then. As I said before, I'm Valerie Page. No longer Mistress Valerie. Just Valerie Page. Your friend and neighbor. <laughs> see you next week, loves. Bye-bye.